some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Pennsylvania at the very same DMV where Rebel Riot Girl Radio or whatever the hell she's calling herself was trespassed and arrested. And now Chile de Castro himself has decided to get involved in this total debacle. But whoopsie daisy, he finds himself getting trespassed, but not arrested because, well, he gets threatened with arrest but walks away. And, well, he has to admit defeat, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. That I have every right to film inside of that establishment. That's what you would do. You swore an oath to uphold I mean, the Constitution. I, I, I don't really. I'm all. I'm all upholding the Constitution. I mean, I don't. I don't necessarily have to do that. But you're you're under that's thirty just, years old, that's man. Just, don't I'm, you understand? I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. And you're, you're not under thirty. You no. look like you're under thirty. You look young, dude. Okay. Um, so so if I, I, I go, have no if obligation I go, to go in there and tell them okay. anything. I just have to tell you. But you're telling me if I go back in that you'll arrest me. Uh, Chili, let me ask you something, buddy. Uh. Why haven't you uploaded the entire encounter? Because the video that I have seen only has the aftermath and you outside for that at most of that hour uh, trying to pedal your trifold or just talking to random people about BS. I mean, what's up with that? Was well, something said in there that you don't want people to know about? Come on, be honest with us for once in your life. And if you cause a scene, if you I'm not trying to cause, cause a scene. A scene <laughs> you're going to be arrested for disorderly conduct. Yes. Okay, so then would you will you escort me inside of that DMV so that I can invoke my First Amendment right to Look, film it, it, inside it, of a public space? Nothing is at this point is going to be orderly. Nothing you go in there and do is going to not cause a disturbance at this point. But it, you could very well calm the crowd and use your authority, the powers vested in you, to tell the crowd that I have a right Not to film it. No. Hey, Chili, uh, what's the matter with you, dude? Uh, here you are trying to convince the officer to let you do this. Uh, I thought you were uh, very much a cop hater and thought all cops were evil. So why are you doing this why aren't you just uh disregarding this officer's uh uh authority and just walking right in there and uh, getting yourself arrested just for the cause i mean what's wrong with you but you could you you very well say, could say, could say anything, that he has sure. a first amendment right to film in here and calm the crowd she can't I, she's i'm suing her rosa yeah. at the dmv is being sued okay. i'm suing her like, and, and I don't know if I have to list you in the federal civil rights lawsuit or not. I'll talk to my, 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 my team. But the thing is, is I do this all over the country. I go to all kinds of places when my rights are stripped or our rights are stripped and I sue. Oh, Chili, come on now. Your win-loss record leaves something to be desired. I, something tells me that you will file, maybe... But you certainly won't win it. You have not a legal leg to stand on. In fact, you've pretty much at this point got a snowball's chance in hell of winning that case. So good luck with that. And I don't know if you're going to be listed. Can I get your business card? Just so that I No, can... you can't get my business card. My name's right here. <laughs> C-I-A-R-L-A-N-T-E. And this would be uh, Officer Sentak. So I was just inside of the DMV and I went in there just to film. I respectfully explained to the supervisor that I was here to invoke my rights. I, I, I didn't raise my voice or scream at anybody. I didn't say you did. I recorded everything, and now I'm being told that if I go back in, you'll arrest me for disorderly when you, you all three of you gentlemen could escort me inside and explain to the crowd that I have a right to be there, the First Amendment right to be there. Sir, you have no official business to be there. You have to have official business okay. inside. It's like any other business in mm -hmm. the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. You have to have official business to oh. be in there to conduct oh. business. Oh. Two, oh. yes, I am a corporal. No, but Mr. Mr. Irwin, the thing corporal. is, is you're, you're incorrect. You're incorrect. Corporal. My business is being the press. This is my business. Well, Chili, uh, if you were the press, then you would know how to get through the proper channels to get access in there as the press because... Well, that's what legitimate journalists do. They just don't go around saying, oh, I'm the press, I have the First Amendment right to do this. No, they know how to go through the proper channels.
Unfortunately, you don't know how to do that. I have thousands of videos. This is what I do. My business right. is to get standing to sue you. Right. Okay. And I don't That's want to sue fine, you, sir. Mr. Irwin. It's not, my, it's not what I want to do. Right. I, I don't, I don't, use the, I don't use the military standards because my family's a long military family. We've served in every single war there is. Okay. And so police to me are domestic. You're not corporal, lieutenant, or captain, or sergeant. You are literally Mr. Okay. Irwin. Sorry. I respect the authority vested in you. Well, you respect their authority, uh, Chili, since when? And besides, your opinion has little bearing on the meaning of their ranks within the police organizations. So get used to it, dude. At the same time, though, you're not respecting my rights. I'm respecting your rights. You're videotaping right now. You have every right. Right, but to I'm, on a, I'm on a public you sidewalk. Right, you do. That's a public Correct. entity. So let me you correct do you not further. Have an official business to be there like anything else, sir. You so you're not. telling me, me as a member of the press, I have no official no, sir, business? No, sir. You cannot go in there. Okay. I, listen, I, I, I'm not going to defy a lawful order. I won't do it. I, I'm not going to defy, if you tell me it's a lawful order, I'm not going to defy a lawful order. I will not break the law, gentlemen. I'm not here to break the law. I'm here to stand up for our rights, and you guys swore an oath to the Constitution. I expect you, gentlemen, and you're incorrect. Sorry, you're free to go. No, no, sir, you're, you're free, free to go, sir. Okay, so the, the, then I'll just... You are free to go. Mr. Irwin, but I just want to correct you. Are free you. To go, sir. This is not like any other business. It's not like Walmart. This is a public entity. So and you you're a go. young man. You should listen to what I'm saying because he's going to be done in a few years. You're going to have the ball. You'll be in charge and you'll be in charge. He's totally incorrect. Everything he said was wrong. There wasn't anything he said that was correct. It was all wrong. But you guys arrested a woman standing on this sidewalk just a couple weeks ago. Mr. Irwin, do you have a card, please, sir? Mr. Irwin, do you have a card, please? Can I, I mean, you're supposed to give me piece of identification. We, we did. Our, our name tag. I got that, but Mr. Irwin, you're supposed, right there, you're supposed to have a card. But I want to email right you. I want to email you because you're giving, me inf you're giving the audience incorrect information. And you don't give out uh, any bad information, Chili. Your trifold is filled with lies, dude. Filled to the brim with lies that has been debunked count this times since you first published it. So that's essentially the pot calling the kettle black at this point, you dumbass. Okay, then I'll... We're ready to go. So look, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hang out here, okay? You, yeah, I can't sure stop you. No other I can't issue stop going you. on, but right now, you're good to go. Then why don't you join me inside of there and tell those people I have a right to film. Why don't you do that, Mr. Sentak? Why don't you join me in there, Mr. Irwin? Why don't you join me in there and explain to the crowd I have a right to film? I'm just filming. There's, I'm not doing anything illegal. I, and I haven't defied, have I defied any of your orders? Have I defied anything you've asked me to do? No. I won't, I won't break the law. I'm being respectful to you guys. I haven't called you guys filthy pigs. I haven't called you any names and I don't like cops, but I'm still being respectful to you because I just need the standing to do this DMV. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sue Miss Rosa. I hope I don't have to sue you because I like you, <laughs> but I will sue you if I have to. Look me up, my channel's called Delete Laws. I sue all over, the, I flew here to do this. Yeah, you told me that. This is why I'm here right now. I'm going to go to court for Jessica in about 15 minutes, and she's in court right now because one of you guys arrested her. Someone, one, one of your fellow brethren in the blue arrested her for standing on the sidewalk. Oh, Chili, you blatant liar. Uh, Riot Girl Radio, uh, Rebel Girl, whatever her freaking name is, was not arrested for standing on a sidewalk, you dimwit. She went into that DMV and got it shut down down and refused to leave until the cops escorted her out and trespassed her and she still refused to leave and she got arrested so why don't you try actually talking about the facts from this point on dude because cameras or do not lie in this particular scenario. And it was all caught on camera. In fact, I have a link in my description box below for that very video that has her arrest. So if anybody wants to go check it out, be my guest because you, Chili, are a blatant liar. The same thing you just told me I could stand here and film, you arrested her up in this. Clear? Clear. All right. We're good. Okay. Sounds good. Remember what I said, sir, about this first warning. It's, the first warning is what? Go in there, cause a disturbance, then we're coming back, and then you're going to get arrested. So if I'm standing outside and they no, and no, people get upset that. with me, then I am I causing that. a disturbance? Causing a disturbance. I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. I, I told you. Okay. I, mean, I, I mean, you told me you had probable cause as well. He told me that he had probable cause, and so I had to give him my identification. If the police says he has probable cause and he's going to arrest me, then you have to give him your identification. That's the law. Thank you.
Well, I am just going to end the video right there because for one thing, he never showed what happened inside the DMV itself. He hasn't uploaded it at the time that this video was made. Secondly, this video that he did put up was uh, over an hour and a half long, and this was just the first few minutes of the video. It was the aftermath of him being trespassed from that uh, Pennsylvania DMV that Rebel Riot Girl, Ghetto, Ghetto Girl, whatever her name is, was arrested from. And uh, the rest of this video is just him standing around talking to various individuals about really nothing or just peddling his uh, his trifold. So we really, really don't need to be seeing that. Uh, not unless you want to sit around for over an hour. Then you can just look up at his channel and watch that, that to your heart's content. So at any rate, guys, uh, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.